Hello everybody, Bamboo COC here. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Um, so today I just wanted to show you a replay, a defensive replay. As some of you have been asking in the comments to see some replays on defense, so I thought I would do that. Um, as you guys know, if you've been watching the videos on my channel, uh, I have some units from the industrial age still due to some kind of a bug. Like I can make tanks uh, and the supply trucks, but not much else. But I want you to realize that a lot of people have this bug right now, um, and they're attacking me with it as well. So I want to show you the replay from my most recent defeat, just so you guys can see what I'm dealing with here. So yeah, here's my base. Again, my town hall is outside, or my town center, to make it easy to take an easy one star. This guy, however, said, bump that, I'm going to go for the five star, and try to just obliterate me. And you can see he's dropped everything, and he's got tanks, supply trucks, level 30 generals. That's the max level a general can be in the industrial age, which isn't even out yet. And honestly, um, three of my four generals were upgraded to level 30 also. And uh, I didn't have anything to do with that. I, I just happened. I logged on one day, and they went from like 18 to 30. So I'm sure the same thing happened to this guy. And he's doing just what I'm doing, using them while I have them. So, you know, I'm not mad at him in any way at all. I, I mean, the last couple of days I've been doing attacks just like this to everybody. Um, but, yeah, it, it, you know, apparently a lot of people have had this issue. But it's pretty cool watching all these awesome industrial age units and maxed out generals just destroy a village that's pretty much max for the Enlightenment age. So, yeah, you guys can see it's happening to everybody, at least everybody up this high in medals. So, you can see he did use all four war tactics and uh, his mercenaries and both generals. So, I mean, he used every single thing he had, <clears throat> but he is able to pretty much annihilate my entire civilization here. <laughs> he ends up with a five-star, which, uh, you know, is to be expected. There's just not much a base can do against a bunch of tanks. Maybe when the Industrial Age actually comes out and we get anti-tank defense weapons or something, it'll be a little easier, but... Or a little tougher on offense, but here it is. Yeah, he got uh, totally smashed me. Thankfully, I didn't have much gold because I just started another forest clearing expedition here for six million more gold. So currently, I'll show you in a second on my base, I've got this forest that I'm trying to clear. It's got a week left. And then I've got two of them up here, a week and four days, two weeks, three days. That said two weeks and four days earlier when I started it. Is that crazy? I mean, what? It's going to take 17 days or 18 days for this uh, forest to get cleared? I mean, come on now. So, um, yeah, and I think as soon as I get another 6 million gold, I'm going to use my last three uh, citizens to try and clear another forest to try and uh, get this stuff going before the Industrial Age comes out. Come to think of it, the way my luck runs... It'll, they'll probably actually release the Industrial Age once I have no free citizens for two weeks. And I'll have no way to, to do an upgrade. That would be terrible. But yeah, so that's what's going on right now. The only other upgrade I have going is one of my farms. Um, so yeah, I have a shield right now. I had a 16-hour shield after that horrible massacre. So I'm not going to waste it with an attack right now. But I will show you the army that I've been using while I have these tanks making eight tanks, five of the little heavy Gatling gun guys, and then just a little bit of infantry. Pretty much that's the way to go. Um, as far as my generals go, I don't know why only three of them were had that bug where they got upgraded to level 30. My lowest general was actually upgrading while that happened, so I think that's probably why he was unaffected. So at the moment, I've got three level 30 generals and one level 9. And I'm still in the process of upgrading my Protect spell to the maximum level. That's still got another uh, another day. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. And then I guess I'll start my other general while I wait for the Industrial Age. So anyway, you guys, I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Uh, sorry I'm not going to do a live attack in this one, but... Uh, you can definitely see that I did change my base a little bit by uh, putting the castle in the middle. I still have my town center outside. I just put the castle in the middle because I felt like since I have powerful generals right now on defense, keeping it in the middle will be a stronger place for it than just on the side. 
So anyway, if there's any particular attack you want me to try while I have all these awesome units, I'm open to that. I'm even thinking about doing a video where I use all motorcycle raiders, which I guess is the maxed out version of the loot stealing guys. So, you know, I could do that, or I could do a raid with just all tanks if you wanted to see that, or all riflemen. I don't think that'll be very strong, but maybe with the protect spell, that would be okay. So just go ahead and comment what you want to see. These are the troops I have available. And yeah, I will definitely try to do it. I could also try maybe all supply trucks and two generals. See if I can just keep my two generals alive with the supply trucks and kill everything. I did some stuff like that in Clash of Clans with the heroes. So if you want to see that, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want, and I'll try to make it happen. So for now, have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow.